Robots are only getting smaller, but there are some limitations on how complex these machines can actually be. There have been several breakthroughs in 3D printing and other building techniques, so mass production is already being addressed. But the majority of nanorobotics require an outside source for mobility and power, such as using light or magnetic fields. However, if we want to build a self-sustainable nanorobot, then we'll have to figure out the issues related to an independently controlled energy source and reliable mobility. But ultimately, if we do make a self-sustainable and computational robot at the now scale, then we will open up a new age of robotics. Anyways, this video is going to cover some of the larger scale of robotics, which I think are pretty impressive, and it does make you think about how small robots can get. So let's begin the overview of these robots. Beginning at number 5, the Hammer Dash E. The latest version of the hammer incorporates electro-adhesive feet, origami-inspired joints, and specially engineered walking mechanics. It can basically walk anywhere, including vertical walls and ceilings. Its electro-adhesive feet generate electrostatic forces between the pads and the underlying conductive surface. However, this also means that the robot cannot go everywhere in that it only works on conductive materials like metal. The end goal is for the robot to inspect areas which are inaccessible to human workers, such as the inside of a jet engine. Eventually the hammer will hopefully incorporate sensors and even its own power supply. The hammer is not technically a micro robot just yet, but let's move on to the next position. At number 4, the Micro Bristle Bot. Making a 2mm robot is pretty difficult to say the least, so Georgia Tech's new micro robots are pretty impressive. The tiny machine is 3D printed out of a polymer resin, and its legs act like bristles which are propelled by either a piezoelectric actuator or by outside vibrations. The amplitude and frequency of the vibrations can steer and control the speed of the micro robot. So even though these things are not completely self-sustainable, it is still impressive that hundreds of these bots have already been made. And ultimately they will be used to move other materials, or even treat injuries within the body. We get to number 3, and it's fairly small at 1 milligram, and it's the Legged Micro Robot. So yes, once again a fairly speedy micro quad has been developed by Ryan St. Pierre at the University of Maryland. Just like its predecessors, the robot does not carry any kind of onboard power supply or sophisticated sensors. Instead, this time the legs are controlled by magnetic fields. Small cubic magnets are embedded in the micro quad's hips, and this allows magnetic fields to drive the legs. So the primary reason of this build is to figure out the dynamics of leg and locomotion at the milligram or even micrometer scale. Ultimately, this understanding of locomotion will actually help make more efficient and smaller micro robots. We get to number 2 and it's something a little bit different and it's called the robotic thread. MIT has developed a magnetically steerable thread like robot, which is small enough to go through the brain's blood vessels and thus treat blockages and even lesions. The thread is made out of nitinol, which is a material that can retain its original shape after it's been bent. The wire is then coated with magnetic particles and a hydrogel, which provides a smooth biocompatible surface. The thread can be steered by an exterior magnet, and it's already been tested on life-size models of the brain's blood vessels. Now the potential of this technology is pretty incredible, since other tools can be incorporated into the end of the thread such as an optical laser. And hopefully the bot will be put into trial runs in the near future. Now we get to the incredible number one, and it's the Wafer Robots. I found this development to be quite fascinating, since up to a million of these things can be made into a single 4-inch silicon composite wafer. In terms of build complexity, these things are pretty much the most impressive. Each robot is made from a multitude of materials including silicon and glass, but they also incorporate a few mini solar cells. When a laser shines onto the solar cell, a subsequent electrical current causes the platinum compound to expand while its titanium part remains rigid, thus allowing the robot to move. And basically these robots are small enough to be injected via hypodermic needle but they are limited to a few centimeters of area due to their reliance on laser light. With that being said, the university is still working on looking at other power sources such as using ultrasound and magnetic fields. But they are also working on smart versions of the robots that incorporate sensors, clocks, and self-controllers. Nevertheless, this is probably one of the most advanced developments I have seen in relation to micro-robots. So once again, thanks for watching the video. Please like it if you enjoyed it and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.